Earlier this week, Arcane Austin and Bethesda Studios released Redfall, and it has been, well, much maligned. A lot of it's for cause, but some of it's just, you know, people being negative and dogpiling. Over the course of the last week, I've been able to play it. I've put about five to six hours in the game, and I've enjoyed what I've done so far. Sure, there's some jank, but, you know, typical Bethesda game, right? In addition to the base game, they came out with a bite back edition. Let's go ahead and get this unwrapped and see what all it contains. They did take the time to put a sticker on here that says that 60 FPS performance mode will not be available at launch. So on the back here it says we have the throwback outfit pack for the engineer volunteer, northern expedition. War clothes and eyes in the dark, as well as the laser beam tactical knife, and the Redfall Hero Pass, which consists of two upcoming heroes. So we know going forward that one of the ways they plan upon expanding on the game is by introducing not necessarily new content, but new characters. So that is kind of a, a gloss, highly reflective black on there. I wish it was more of a matte. I think that would have been better for the aesthetic and on the back we kind of have the icons for the four characters that are currently in the game uh, i do think that the redfall logo is pretty cheeky i love the uh, fact that we have the the broken incisors the the vampire teeth over here it seems to me like somebody got butt stroked with a rifle stock and lost part of their face inside we have bike back patch a case to hold the disc which you know I don't think many of us are going to have the disc most of us are going to have this digitally and we have the actual code in here for the upgrade and I like the artwork on the inside I've actually recently spent some time in this tower and then basically we have the Redfall Calm Seas and Sunny Skies tagline, which you can see on the sign when you log into the game each and every time. Let's pop over and actually see what these rewards look like in-game. First we have to open the Xbox app and redeem the code. So that code that got flashed earlier in the video, yeah, that's already been taken. Then you have to make sure that you actually quote unquote install the Bite Pack Edition because for whatever reason, it can't do license management. <laughs> okay, anyways, one of my little tiny complaints about Game Pass. First up, we're gonna take a look at the tactical knife. So the laser beam is good for a multitude of different weapons. This is what it looks like on a pump action shotgun. This is what it looks like on an automatic rifle. This is what it looks like on a stake thrower. Then we have the Eyes in the Dark outfit. This is the War Clothes outfit. Next up, we have the Northern Expedition outfit. And lastly, we have the Engineer Volunteer Yellow outfit.
there you have it, the Redfall Bite Back Edition. It's not going to fundamentally change anything about the game, so if you already have problems with it, don't get this. It does, however, contain two future heroes. It gives us a little bit of an idea of where they're heading in the future with building out upon this game. Uh, but hopefully in the meantime, between now and then, they can get some of the bugs worked out of it. I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.